Well, good afternoon, people. It's Sunday. I've got an hour or so to myself. So, I thought I'd come on and talk about a few things. Well, now we all know what's been going on down in Dover with the French. Um, helping send the illegals over. Uh, XX, TW, XX, Tracy and the guys down there in Dover showing this daily what's been going on. Um, was it last week? The uh, pretty useless Patel has, is trying to stop uh, the guys filming these people coming in being assisted by border force so we've got her saying no you can't do it and then we've got Boris openly saying in public protect the press freedom of the press freedom of speech who's right well Boris is the boss isn't he so what's Patel doing But now, um, because it's all <coughs> starting to uh, come out in mainstream media, <laughs> they've stopped the boats from using their transponders. They're turning their location beacons, basically, is what they are, for those that don't know. Um, it sends out a signal that tells you what boat it is, name of it, destination, etc. Now they're turning these on and off. Now, as far as I'm aware, the ASI is also a safety feature to stop other boats running into you. The signal is there, so they know where you are. So not only are they doing it unsafely now, they're trying to cover it up so people can't see the French meeting the British in the middle of the channel. Got news for you, Patel. You can see it from the top of the cliffs with a bloody good telescope or a good set of binoculars anyway. So all it needs is someone up there with a good lens. Not only will they get the radar footage, they'll be able to see the actual thing and film it happening. <laughs> So, yeah, that's, to me, that's just uh, another government cover-up, really. And there's more and more of them coming in. And the more that's being exposed, the more the cover-ups seem to start. Stranger. Now, this will be a short one today, people, because I have still got one or two things to do around the house. Now, a video has come out. Um, now, it looks like it's not faked, but this is of a ex-police officer reporting crimes um, to the police on... I think it's uh, one MP and other fractions of the government. All backed up with evidence on paper. Um, he has got a crime number for it. And he has told the officer who took the report and the evidence um, that basically if they fail to act on it, fail to investigate on it, um, then they are in dereliction of their duties. <laughs> we'll see what becomes of that. I'd like to think it's real, and I'd like to think the police would do the wrong, th the right thing. Time will tell. But that is on a channel called Lisa C. And the video is entitled "An Ex-Police Officer Speaks Out." Um, it's well worth going and having a look. 
and listen to what this guy has to say. Uh, and as I say, he's got it all backed up with evidence. He's presented the whole file of months and months of research to the police. Will they investigate it? Well, time will tell, really, won't it? Now, I'm going to give you a date now. Um, I'd like you to remember it. The 14th of July this year. <coughs> now, I'm predicting... This is my opinion, YouTube. Nothing else. I'm predicting that on or at just after July 14th is when we will see the first supposed leak that the press have picked up on that freedoms won't be given back. Many will be held, be withheld. I'm predicting this. July the 14th. See how close I get, shall we? <laughs> um, nobody's actually calling it Freedom Day yet. Um, many more businesses uh, are going to go under because of this delay. Sadly. They've promised so much, but given so little, really. Um, but anyway, that's just a few ramblings from today. Like I say, it's a short one. And the missus is over having Sunday dinner with her family and the grandkids. I shall get mine bought back for me. <laughs> so anyway, until the next one, I find something else to rant about. As always, thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. And my respects to you all. Stay safe. Stay strong. Absolutely stay free. I'm gone.